It all started with a sketch on a napkin. An idea created by two walk-on bench warmers. And after 10 years of hard work and perseverance to turn their dream into a reality, it's the number one sports bar in America. Welcome to Walk On. Walk Ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Security Sporting Good wants to tell you all camo is 50% off and it's fishing season. In the red corner, it's powerhouse combo zoom and lose. And in the blue corner, season veteran Abu Garcia. These three name brands will take care of all your fishing needs. Plus, Old Town kayaks are coming soon. You need a handgun in stock. Springfield, Sig, Glock, and Smith and Wesson at Security Sporting Goods 2220 Memorial Drive, Alexandria. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance. Back to the Eagles, and as we go, this is the second half of our boys-girls doubleheader. The girls come out with a big, big victory in that one. Now the boys looking to do the same, getting ready for the starting lineups, and we'll turn that over to the PA announcer here. Uh, Coach Scully in uh, at the Eagles Nest, and you'll hear that mundane visitors announcement, and then he'll ramp things up. Good to see Principal Chris Gatlin come by and speak with him. Very instrumental in in high school sports around this area. There you go. Look, he's going to camera. Will he'll get some uh, get get a little face time for this too. So I'm going to set this down and turn over now. Thank you. 
And we are getting ready to get things going here. Had a chance to visit between games with, with Coach Twig, uh, who was the head coach here of the Eagles, took them to the semifinals last year, moved on to Northwood. Uh, but, but great to see him well respected in this in this area too. Great to see Coach Twig back in the in the Eagles nest. Their game tonight got canceled at Block due to the bus driver getting COVID. Oh no, that's, who, that's who, no fun. Who knew? You heard the starting lineups. We'll go over them again. Uh, Jacob Vilar, Dalen Turner, Aiden Warren, Jacques Hopewell, and Aaron Cantrell for your Eagles for the for the Mustangs. Corey Thiers, uh, Gaddison, Dempsey, Mitchell, and Newton. We'll go getting ready to jump things in the middle. That is Corey Thiers for Rapids. And number 12, Jacques Hopewell goes 6 1, does the junior, ready to get things going here from the Eagles Nest. Excited to bring this one to you. I'm Doug Ann alongside of Chuck Perkins and a full house here. No love from that student section for the visitors either. Boot every no. one of the starters coming out no. here, but they were polite about it. They were. They were. I mean, they didn't. Boo hiss, they just booed. Turner ready to get things going for the Eagles. I expect this to be a fast paced up. Going to the back door lob, and there's the thing. There's the dunk you very much on the backside completed. That is Hopewell flying through the air, getting the dunk on the alley oop. And tremendous, tremendous way to start this game. And uh, the coaches are, are, are going crazy. The fans are. That is is how you draw up a start. That is definitely, here's your two. And he gets fouled on this one, gets the old school three off the alley-oop dunk, and uh, my goodness, he looked, yeah, that's the way you want to start it. And look, you look up and down that Eagle roster, and they are fired up. Shot is up, and it's money from the Mustangs, number 14. Kartrakis Mitchell gets his first. Full pressure by the Mustangs. And again, you're going to see that there's that turnover. Mitchell going back to the basket, dishes this one off, though. And that's going to be Gaddison that picks up the two, give the assist to Mitchell. Mustang's definitely not afraid to run this ball. Now, when we've seen that, this is every game these two guys, get, these two teams get together. Pulls it back from one, pulls it back from another. And that's the basket up and in. Jacob Vilar gets his first two. Just action uh, continuing from where that girls game was. Chuck just up and down the floor in this one. Mitchell has it out, gets oh. it back inside. Newton touches it for the first time, and he goes into the basket. 6-5. Rapids with the lead. Yeah, you go back to that dunk. We'll have that chopped up, and that'll be a highlight reel that'll be seen. Inside, Vilar gets it back outside. There's the turnover. Prowling the, the sidelines for that Rapids team. Coach Travis Bruce has been there for a lot of years. One of the, the better football officials in this area as well. Very much glad to have him doing that. Yeah. Coming to the near side, Mitchell goes to the basket, try to wrap around. Going to clear that out. Are the Eagles off and running is Aiden Warren. He's going to go coast to coast with a steal and the score. Had just enough footsteps on the lead of those Mustangs to keep it and, and put it in there. Warren, the sophomore, quickly getting after that loose ball and finishing. Intense game. That three-pointer is up, and it is good. That's another big basket from uh, Mitchell. He's got five now, and quickly a timeout, 30-second one. Chuck, we're a couple of minutes in, and this one, uh, nine to seven, Rapids with the lead. But uh, my goodness, what a start this has been for both squads. Yes, indeed. I mean, you start out with a dunk. And uh, it was really just like an open invitation challenge. That now, what you got? And uh, and and they've answered in this one. Has have the Mustangs? Uh, Kartrekas Mitchell has five, and he's assisted on one of the other goals in this one. So he's touched the ball on seven of the nine points. Offensively, it's been spread around. Vilar has two. Dalen Turner has two, and the other one, uh, Jacques Hopewell, with the big dunk to start things off. Yes, definitely much the active shooting from these. Mustangs from Rapid. Coach Duchette and that group getting ready to uh, to adjust to that pressure that was on there. Just a couple little, a bit of fine tuning getting done there to the near side. Turner's got it now, trying to beat the press and does. He's going to try to get around everybody. Backside pressure by the Mustangs, number five, Fears, and jumping into the lane. There's a battle for it coming out of it is Dempsey. 
Dempsey will get the Mustangs down the floor. Getting Mitchell back up to the top of the key. Turner comes out on him now and will initiate a count. There goes Mitchell for three from downtown. That is Mitchell's second three. He's got eight here in the first two and a half. Eight points, not eight threes just yet. Correct. There's Warren, a little Euro step into the one-hander. Oh, wow. And beautiful work there. Aiden Warren, a Euro step to a running one-hander. Not sure that I've seen one of those before. I haven't seen that one drawn up on the board. Spinning around in a tremendous block. Hopewell just very active, explodes off the floor. This time he's going to get whistled for the foul. Anytime you swipe at the ball, you'll get whistled for that foul. And, in yeah. fact, he does. That's his first. Yeah, I mean, he's been really good if he could have just stayed up with it. Instead of, you know, just his body wasn't contact. It was that swipe of the arm. 12-9, the Mustangs with the lead. And that sends Gaddison to the line for a pair. Rims out the first one. Fruit basket turnover. Second one is up, rolls around. It's no good as well. A lot of blocking out finally. Finally, Warren or Vilar steps in and, and corrals that one. Back to the top. Vilar being pressured, spins it around over to Warren. Warren gets it back to Turner. Turner trying to turn the corner, unable to from that intense Mustang zone that is out there. Definitely not wanting to let him sneak in that back door. Over to the top goes Warren. Warren back to Turner. Turner has it. He's going to fire this three up. Hard off the back iron and no good. Rebound controlled out by the Mustangs. Just a great pace in this one. Mitchell, very solid shooter for that Mustang team. He dishes it now to the other side for three, and that is Gaddison who misses everything. Goes back in and gets the rebound. Getting uh, getting harassed by the, the student section, but uh, you got to get the rebound to do that because it goes back to Gaddison, and he just quiets the section with a three ball, 15 to nine. And that ball thrown away. Eagles going to have to do something to counteract this pressure that has been put on by this Mustang team. In this, uh, on, the, on the season, Rapids is 10 and 10 on the year. And they'll inbound that ball all the way back down here underneath the goal, so interesting play here. They work on these plays a lot. Every team does. That quick inbounds, quick shot. That one's up, and it's no good. Banging around, unable to control the board was Warren. Back out another offensive rebound for the Mustangs. Early lead offensive rebound-wise for this Mustang team. And quickly, that's going to get activity off of the Menard bench. Spinning around, trying to get there. Going to pick up a cheap foul is Hopewell. No, and it looks like they didn't give it to Hopewell. May have given it to Turner, and they do. They do. Dalen Turner picks up his first personal. Going to the line to shoot a couple is Mitchell. He's been the star thus far scoring-wise. He's got eight. Ref trying to wipe off the ball there. Must have a little sweat accommod accumulation. There we go. Easy for me to say. Yeah, absolutely. Thank 15 you. 15 to 9 uh, midway through this first period. Rapides has the lead. And that's going to bring a couple off of the bench for the Eagles checking in. Deuce Kirk now in the game. Ball to the near side, back up to the top now. And again, intense pressure trying to get around is Hopewell. Hopewell's got it corralled again. This one over into the corner. Turner's got it. Thought about the three, instead dumps it inside, and that one is knocked away. And back out on the run, trying for the dunk, but getting, getting going in and getting the lay-in. That was Gaddison with a big basket. They gave him a technical because he was on. He was out of bounds when he touched the ball when the eagle was trying to throw it in. So they're going to give him a technical on that number ten. They'll whistle that technical foul on Gaddison. And uh, Gaddison not not agreeing with it and and look just as as solid 
and intense of a player as you're fine. That free throw is up, and it's good by Warren. He's got five now on the day. Yeah, he made the layup, and he was he rolled out of bounds with it, and so they were trying to get the ball back in quickly, and I mean, just making it's, an aggressive play. It goes down play, to the old you know? delay a game is, yeah. is really what they'll do once it's through there. But uh, look, and, and, and Broussard knows the rules as good as anybody, so he's, uh, he's certainly not in agreement with this call at all. And, and how do you like that? You're going to, to, to explain something to, to, to yeah. one of your peers as well. This is true. At least he's not the assignment secretary. Right. 18 to 10, Rapides out to an early lead. And um, look, great support by both these. See, Rapides always fills up this, uh, this gym. Anytime we see them, they travel very, very well. They really do. Albeit just up the road into Alexandria, mind you. Yeah, but it's, I mean, just outside of the count. There's a sophomore. Warren gets it back over to Turner. 18 to 10 in this one. Turner again into the corner and no opportunity for an easy shot. That foul is going to be whistled on Mitchell. He'll pick up his first. Third to team foul. Correction, give Mitchell his second personal foul. One on Gaddison who gets the technical. 18 to 10 again our Louisiana eye and laser scoreboard up there in the corner tells you that couldn't do it without those guys Louisiana eye and laser we appreciate everything that they do for high school sports in the area definitely good clear vision of what's going on over to Warren he's got it back to Turner again no easy shots on this zone from Rapids that one is up bangs around no good big rebound underneath by Kirk but uh, the good hustle of this Rapids team by Newton, and that forces it onto the ground. And n no easy rebounds, plays, drives, shots, anything for this Menard team from that intense Rapids defense. Very characteristic of a Rapids type team is they're going to put the pressure on you. Reminds me of those old Nolan Richardson Arkansas teams, how they would get after you. They called it 40 minutes a heck. They yes. would be on you the entire time. And Rapides has done that through the years that I've that I've been watching them. Too bad they don't play seven quarters of seven minutes. It'd be the 49ers, right? Oh. Newton around. He's got it back now, trying to make something happen. Dribbles it off of his hip. There's a turnover. Turner's got it. He's trying to go to the basket. Moves around in the air, unable to get that, and, and the defense was back. That was Mitchell getting in the way, not allowing the easy one. And, and look, Chuck, since that big uh, that dunk to start things off, yes, it's been it's been Rapids in control of this one. Good defense by Kirk that time. This shot has to go high over Kirk. Picking up his dribble is Hopewell. They get it back in. Kirk gets it back to Turner. And they'll have to rethink, and that zone spreads out again a little bit deeper. So solid, tall and rangy is this Rapids team. Very, very, their shift down low for that zone coverage is just absolutely Back over book. Turner, thinks about it now. He's going to pull the trigger on that three and misses it. Good long rebound by the Eagles' Warren. Uh, correction, that was Jacques, Jacques Hopewell that gathered that one in. Back over into the corner is Hopewell. Turner's missed on a couple, had a wide open one there, had an opportunity to take that. But when you miss a couple of them, you know, your shooter's got to shoot. Looking yeah. for the foul, not getting it. Kirk is there. Now Turner's going to go to the basket, dishes it off. And uh, timeout called by Rapide, seeing that his guy had nowhere to go. Broussard gets the 32nd. And, and Chuck, it started out as a, as a lot of scoring in this one but it's slowed down since then. The pace hasn't slowed down, just the continued scoring has, but 18 to 10 for this Mustang team. Definitely definitely still high-level intensity, but like you said, Menard is, is trying to work something in, trying to take their time to work around, find a good play, but the, the solid defensive play by the, the Mustangs is just keeping it at bay at this point. Well, and what we've seen out of this Menard Eagle team is just like a lot of teams, they generate it off of the run. They like to get up and go, and they like to get to get out and run. Their guys like to get down the floor and, and play off of emotion. Yes. Now, 
Appreciate everybody that's in watching this one. If you've not followed our page, make sure you go up and do that. Wherever you're watching tonight, check out 446 Sports, and uh, we appreciate the likes and the follows. You'll keep up with whenever we play. There's a three that's launched. It's no good. Unable to control the rebound. Going to be off of Menard, and Rapides will have this one underneath their own basket. So to my point, give us a like and a follow wherever you're at. If you're watching on YouTube, we appreciate you subscribe to our channel. That one is up, and it is good. That's a three from Newton, his first three. But that's four threes here in the first by this Mustang team. That shot is up. It finally goes, and so a much-needed basket for Dalen Turner and this Eagle offense. Kind of that shot is from downtown, fifth three-pointer. That one at the buzzer by Gaddison. That's his second, 24-12. Rapids doubling up. The Eagles will be back in 60 seconds. You're watching Menard Eagle Basketball on 446 Sports. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 in East Pineville behind Arby's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Security Sporting Good wants to tell you all camo is 50% off and it's fishing season. In the red corner, it's powerhouse combo zoom and lose. And in the blue corner, season veteran Abu Garcia. These three name brands will take care of all your fishing needs. Plus, Old Town kayaks are coming soon. Need a handgun in stock. Springfield, Sig, Glock, and Smith and Wesson at Security Sporting Goods 2220 Memorial Drive, Alexandria. Back to the Eagles' nest for the second period, and Menard has a lot of work to do in this one. Just five three-pointers in the first for this Rapids team has been the difference. Uh, it all started with a, a Menard dunk, and goodness, it has been just... They're going to call a foul there on the Eagles' number 12. Jacques Hopewell picks up his second and he'll quickly come out of the game. There's a pick set by the uh, Mustangs there. Got right. To control that foul. Trying to run, run right through it. See if Menard can find a way to get an answer to the three-point shooting and that defense. It's been solid, solid defense. It's been great shooting that's built this 12-point lead for Rapids here in this one. Baseline drive there, just got a little bit wide, got on the outside, stepped out of bounds. Over to the near side is Warren, back on top to, to, uh, to Turner. And that long rangey zone defense of Mustangs has been giving fits to this Eagle team all the way across court. Now back up to Turner, trying to penetrate that zone defense somehow and unable to do so. Back to Turner. Now he'll go to the basket, kicks it back out to Warren. Warren will fire the three and misses it. You've got to knock those down when you get an opportunity. Turner will try from the left side, unable to get that one to fall. Good rebound by Cantrell, but he's unable to finish there. Turner will stop from about eight feet and make that one. And uh, you really needed, with all the rebounding you were getting, you needed to get that basket. Absolutely. That, that would hurt if you come up dry for that one. Lead is 10 for Rapids. You got to get a couple of stops and get this thing back into a couple of possession game. Quick pass. We are very early basketball a game of runs, but you don't want to get too far behind an aggressive, hard pressing team where you have to rely on shooting the ball. And then that's what you have to do. You've got to knock down the shots over the zone. And that's the difference, the three-point shooting of Rapids. They had five in the first period. And uh, Menard yet to tally one from behind the arc. Menard atop the district at 3-0. and In this one, looking to continue their ways. But they've got some work 
ahead of him. Three-pointer from the top of the key is up, and that one is no good. That is Mitchell. He had a couple of them. He's got eight on the day, and these Eagles are out and running again. Swung around to the corner. Back up top, Turner's got it. And uh, you just, Chuck, you have to get the shot off so quick because this Mustang team extends. There's Turner, quick shot, and he buries that three exactly what the doctor ordered with that quick three ball. Give Turner seven to match this deficit that the Eagles have. Yeah, if they can get hot on those threes, you know, having to try to run a play in with Rapids' sound defense they've got. That one is key. up and no good. Rebound controlled by the Eagles, and they're looking to get something going here, pressing the issue just a little bit. Back up to the top, Turner thought about it. Instead, dumps it over to Warren. Warren in the corner, now back up to Warren. Turner thinking about it quickly, see if they kick it right back to him, and they do, but that defense collapses from Gaddison and Thiers. The top of the zone is so solid. There's Turner left alone inside the free throw line. Ball is going to stay with Menard here. And uh, I guess uh, Mustang touched it last. Back to the top again. Turner's got it to the near side over to Warren. Warren thinks about it, passes it. They're able to 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 cut somebody in through that zone. If they're able to, to hit that cutter, got a chance yeah. to go to the basket and get some backdoor layups. Turner, though, says he'll fire this one away. No good. Rebound oh, nice. saved out. Ball is inside. Vilar dumps it off, oh. and that's blocked inside. But now on the line as the ball came down. So, again, this is the same setup as a couple of possessions ago. You're getting two, three, and four chances at it. You cannot pass on opportunities. You've got to get it back over the top of the defense to Turner this side to Warren. Yeah, that's definitely got to come away with some points here. Getting a lot of opportunity. Yeah, if they can find a way off that backside and hit the cutter right now, you've got that chance. There's a shot that's up from the corner. That one bounces around. No good. Vilar is there for the rebound and backs things back out. Picks up his dribble, and now there's Warren to pick it up from him. I'm just I'm watching this Mustang defense down here. They're just so, so in sync. Good play down low by the senior Aaron Cantrell. Gets the rebound, bodies his way in, and, and they're trying to establish now a little bit of an inside game and work that ball inside. Cantrell will go to the free throw line for a pair. Eagles definitely have some size on these Mustangs, but um, <laughs> it's hard to. I'm telling you what, it's hard to get in there as fast as they are. Indeed it is. That zone moves from side to side so, so efficiently. It's like they're all connected to a string. 24-18. Rapids has the lead. That free throw no good. Up and getting that one. Gaddison with a big, big rebound. 24-18, Menard with a little bit of work to do to get back into this one. Good pressure out top by Cantrell, and just enough to get the shot messed up and back out in Turner, and here comes that Eagle offense. Over to the near side, Warren has it, the sophomore looking to the corner. Instead, errant pass over the top to Warren, or to um, Turner. And you cannot miss on those opportunities. Mustangs are very content to just get back down, set up, you know, set up their zone defense, and, and we'll let them do what they're going to do and wait for them to make a mistake. And, and that's exactly what happened this time. Kirk will get up, check back to the scores table, getting ready to come back in. Gaddison around the inside, looks inside to Newton. Newton puts this one up, unable to finish that off, but big rebound by the Mustangs. That three is no good. Banging around, Vilar doing work underneath. Back up and going. Vilar gets it in himself. Thinks about going to the basket. Instead, kicks it back out. They find Turner. Turner's open for three. Misses that when Vilar tracks down the rebound once again. Big force has been uh, Jacob Vilar in this one. Able to, uh, to keep things alive. Unable to finish there, though. Turnover created by the Mustangs there. Reached behind him and tapped it through. 
24-18, two possession deficit for the Eagles. A couple of minutes to go until intermission. Going to the basket is Gaddison. Push off, He's going to be an offensive foul on Gaddison. A little bit of a push off there. And that will get that'll get Kirk back up. The junior 6-2, bringing a little bit more size. And we talked about it, Chuck. The uh, the size is there for this Menard team. They've just got to be able to find a way to get inside that that staunch defense yes. of these Mustangs. Inside to turn. There's that cutter. Got to finish that. Kirk battles for the rebound, but unable to pull it down from Mitchell. Mitchell off and running. Again, five threes in the first period. Four Rapids, nothing doing in the second. Low scoring second. That one misses. Good block underneath and off and running are the Eagles. Vilar trying to get the block and then go the distance. Jumping in quickly is Mitchell of Rapids to tie things up and that'll turn things over. Vilar in the last uh, six minutes or so of this second period has really been dominant and been all over and is allowed to get this lead a little bit closer. They're going to check and see if the possession should be with Menard or Rapides in this one. Now, Doug, I was going to ask you this, and I'm trying to remember, there's a place, the Diamond Mines. Where's that located at? I, I, I don't know if you've remembered. I'm, I know it's not Arkansas, but I want to say in Louisiana somewhere. But, you know, I've, I've been there several times as a kid and whatnot, and that's kind of like what it is with these Eagles down here. It's like in the Diamond Mines. You, you search in the fields. So you get, when you have those cutters, there's your gym. You got to make that. You got to make that count. I guess uh, going back and continuing the discussions. A free timeout for everybody, I guess. And uh, not sure what they're going back over. And, and no matter what, it's not going to. You, half the crowd's not going to like the result of this call. Got to believe they're questioning the the possession that's on there. Yeah. as to when the who had the shot clock and they're going back over in the book and they keep it in the book each time they switch and they give the ball to Menard following that so uh, the in what you find the the official scorebook that's kept by the home team is every time the the possession switches they mark it down mark it down mark it down and uh, I tell you the the visitors not excited about that at all because they the you get the calls of the home cooking that yeah. goes on right there. Needless to say, the Eagles have it underneath their own goal. Yep, the Eagle Eye has uh, prevailed on that one. Warren over to Kirk. Now back up. Warren's going to take this wide open three. Rolls around, and he gets a shooter's touch and gets that one in. That is Aiden Warren, his first three of the day. He's got seven back to a three-point lead, and those Eagles on an impressive run here as we wind down until halftime. Definitely a payoff call for them. Or it paid off. Yeah, count, I mean, that's a, that's a huge play. It was Rapids had it. They get it, and they switch it around following the turnover, or the, the reverse to call, and then go up and hit the three. Yeah. Good work by this, uh, this Eagle defense to get stops and get back in it. And the shooting has come off but able to hold Rapides out from behind the arc in the second period has been the difference. There's going to be a foul off of the uh, the play on the ball, but uh, just the fourth personal foul for the Eagles. And so no danger of shooting there. 44 and seven to go until halftime. Ball is kicked out of step back. Thought he was thinking about a three, rolls the ball around on the floor. But uh, picked up and got back out of there was Mitchell. Mitchell gets it back to the top to Gaddison, and Gaddison being pressured. Sparse amount of fouls calls, so some good discipline by the play. Good hands by Turner. Correct there, 27 now to go. You see that on your Louisiana Eye and Laser Center scoreboard. That shot is up, and it's no good off the front. Eagles rebound. Turner going all the way to the basket. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul on Dalen Turner. They're going to say he pushed off. That'll be the second personal foul, fifth team. So still not a shooting violation, but 15 seconds to go. Um, 
again, you can't thank the folks at Louisiana Iron Laser Center enough for getting up there and sponsoring our scoreboard. They have been, they joined us during football season, and uh, it's been a, a pleasure having those folks on board with us. It really has been. I'm glad. Throwing up a last ditch effort, three. Kirk pulls that rebound. Him and Art content to go to the to go to the locker room down by three. But what a second period it was for the Eagles, Chuck. Uh, it seemed like they survived the onslaught. You know, it, yeah. it, it came out like like Mike Tyson in one of his fights did this Rapids team just pounding away following the, the alley-oop that started things. But uh, Menard settled down, defended the perimeter a little bit, and and so he was able, and was, was able to get this thing back. So 24-21 is where we said. Yes, indeed. And it, I mean, the Eagles dug their talons in. Into these Mustangs You've been waiting backs. on that, haven't yes. you? Yeah, I, I know you yeah. have. So anyway, we're going to get to halftime now. 24-21. Uh, we'll be back after this. You're watching Menard Eagle Basketball on 446 Sports. started with a sketch on a napkin, an idea created by two walk-on bench warmers, and after 10 years of hard work and perseverance to turn their dream into a reality, it's the number one sports bar in America. Welcome to Walk On. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Security Sporting Good wants to tell you all camo is 50% off and it's fishing season. In the red corner, it's powerhouse combo zoom and lose. And in the blue corner, season veteran Abu Garcia. These three name brands will take care of all your fishing needs. Plus, Old Town kayaks are coming soon. You need a handgun in stock. Springfield, Sig, Glock, and Smith and Wesson at Security Sporting Goods 2220 Memorial Drive, Alexandria. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria L.A. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hall at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau insurance.
Back to the Eagles' nest we go. An exciting first half of play. Doug Gann alongside of Chuck Perkins and a great crowd in here tonight. They've just seemed like they've kind of been lulled to sleep a little bit. There's been good action, but not a lot of scoring in this one. It has been. You know, and I would say that the Mustangs definitely have what's called a get-up-and-go offense. You know, I, I feel so much like t Tim Taylor, uh, it, the, the tool man with, with, with Al. Oh, my goodness. No, with yes. Al? <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. 24-21 in this one. It started off with a big dunk from yes. the, the, the Eagles. And uh, then it was just a run by that Mustang team. Get up and go. And here came the, the – started to find a way to get around that zone. But the key was five three-pointers in the first period by that Rapids team. And, and Chuck, not a three-pointer fell for them in the second. Here we go. Rapids is going to have the ball to inbound to get things going. And we're 16 minutes away in this one. Menard sits at 3-0, and 12-12 on the season and really desperately need to hang on to this one. Absolutely do. And, uh, you know, see what happens if these Mustangs come out running like they've been running. Rapids up and fires this one, and that's that touch they had in the first. That's the third three-pointer by Gaddison. Didn't have to wipe the sleep out of his eyes for that one. No, his first since, oh and there's big pressure, big turnover by Mitchell. Dumps it off to Gaddison. Gaddison gets the bucket, and he's going to go to free throw line for the end one. He might not make many threes from the outside, but let's see. He's going to make one here in just a moment, I believe. Resetting the foul, so they'll get. Uh, we'll see who that was whistled on there. Number 11, that is Aiden Warren picking up his first. Gaddison to the free throw line. He had 10 in the first and makes the end one the old school three. He's got 16 now. Yeah. All the scoring here in the second has been, or in the second half has been Gaddison. And here comes that Rapids pressure. Quickly turning it over, but uh, right back at it is Gaddison. Gaddison's going to be fouled again. And just uh, the intensity level that uh, that Gaddison has 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 put on coming out in the first 30 seconds of this third period has been unmatched. It is definitely intense, but there's no camping going on. No camping. To the out. line, Gaddison, he's got 16 on the day looking for a pair of free throws here. First one is up, and it rolls around, Ooh, gets the really? shooter's touch. And when it's going right, it's going right, yeah. and Gaddison now has seven coming out of the break in just 30 seconds of play. And if that one would continue going right, it would have fell off the rim. That one in all eight points on this run in 37 seconds scored by Zakelvian Gaddison. And went from a three-point lead to an 11-point lead just like that. Yeah, within 45 seconds. That's, uh, that's like running the opening kickoff of the halfback. Yeah. Just been a flurry from this Rapids team trying to throw it in. It's difficult oh. to throw it over the, these very talented, talented players from Rapids. Getting inside is Vilar, and there's going to be a block that's called. Correction, that was uh, Hopewell that was inside. Jacques Hopewell. Those white numbers, now we're going to have to talk to him. The white numbers on the back yeah. of the white yeah. uniforms does, does not do well for calling a game, uh, no, it really especially does. with my old eyes. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Inside and quickly collapsing. Back out to Turner, needs to hit this three. Mm. Rolls it around, unable to get there. Rapides out, Newton's got the rebound, and here go the Mustangs. Shoots the three, kind of a Celtic break there as they don't go to the basket. He pulled up for the three, but here comes that pressure and another steal by Mitchell. Reaching for the ball every time they get close to it to this Mustang team. Back to the top and to Gaddison. He's been the spark plug in the third period for this Mustang team. Now going to the basket. Another foul picked up by Warren. That's his second and quickly three fouls whistled in two minutes against this 
Menard team, and you certainly don't want to get behind the, the free throw gun on this. No travel there. Traveling violation, and that's the first thing in two minutes that the Mustangs have done that uh, have not been in their favor. Yep. And he Back to Kirk. Kirk gets it across, and here's that intense pressure, trying to get it down the sideline, if you will. That is Warren going to the basket. Now he dishes it off, but that's a turnover. He was looking for Hopewell on the wing, but unable to get there. Yeah, a little, little throw out on the corner there, but not happening. This is the way the Rapids Mustang started the first period of play before, uh, before Menard figured it out and got back into it. This game was 24-21 at the break. It's 32 21. Uh, so it's been an 8 0 run to get things going here in the second. Yeah, the Mustangs just, you know, coming out with their giddy up go and off, off on the run. You know, it's like to the races. Friday night, your Menard Eagles will be back home. They'll be here, uh, girls and boys action. That starts at 6. Your tip off uh, for the girls' game. The boys will follow that one somewhere around 7 30. A lot of big basketball in the area that night. Ash and Rustin are doing battle across the subdivision. But uh, right here, it's going to be the second half of district play. And it will be Menard playing host to the Mustangs of Avoyles. And we oh, wow. saw them in that Ash tournament. Got a couple of players from their football team. Different set of horses. 32-21 Rapids. And just uh, penetrating and drawing the foul. Penetrating and drawing the foul. That one is the fourth team foul. That's going to be the first picked up on Deuce Kirk. But the fourth team foul, Chuck, in just a couple of minutes. Yes, indeed. Mustangs are, like, orchestrating their game plan here. Big rebound. Unable to get the basket, though, by, was Thiers. And uh, finally a little bit of breathing room. Swung around to the corner. That's back to the top to Warren. Warren's going to go to the basket. Finally gets something to go. Like an Easter Bunny hopping in there. You know, we saw Kirk and Ben Carbo come off of the bench, and that sparked a little bit of that comeback for the Eagles. Uh, and, and so you'd like to see things get back to the, the rhythm that they had towards that tail end of the second. Traveling violation once again. That's two. Two on consecutive trips, too. So back to that point, good bench play. You went seven deep on that Menard team, was able to, to, to get things working. Eagles see if they've got another big run in them here. Going to the basket, but picking up the foul. And this, Chuck, I don't know that we had this many fouls in the first half. Uh, no, it was uh, almost over, and I think we had just gotten to 10 total fouls. Under the baseline, four the Eagles, Hopewell out on the, I guess, in the corner, back up top to Turner, midway between the top of the key and the wing, back over to Vilar. He passes on that shot, back to Turner. Turner now will find the side. And this is where Rapides is tough, is when they extend that zone. And the Eagles don't put up the shot because they're extended back off the arc. There's one that's wide open. Got to take that one and does. Rolls out of there. Back up with it. Big oh, rebound nice. and put back that time for Hopewell. Gets the uh, the board in the bucket. His first basket since the opening dunk. Definitely had to find that gym. Down by seven. Or Eagles going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, good job stepping in there. Yep. He tried to go around him, just didn't quite get wide enough on that Euro step. Look, the senior Aaron Cantrell has is, is been battle tested in this and knows his, his way around the basketball court. Good job by the senior stepping in and taking that charge. Warren going to the basket, swings this one back to the corner, turn the thought about it, back up top to Warren. Warren will launch the three, and that's money top of the key for three. Aiden Warren, he gets his second three pointer of the game. He's got 12 now to lead the Eagles in scoring. And now we're within four. 32-28, a game of runs. Punch and counter punch in this one. Underneath the goal, they're going to call a push. They give it to Warren. That'll be his third. And they do. Three personal fouls on the sophomore. He needs to stay in the game here, too. You, uh, he's, he's leading the way. He's got the two threes 
today. The only other one, Turner's got the three ball. Back to the line goes Gaddison. He has been he's so solid that first uh, roll, free throw misses there. Jinx. He was uh, seven points in the first 36 seconds, I think. Uh, yeah, I believe you're right. I mean, just draining them. I'm going to actually give him eight in the first 30-something seconds of yeah, that one that right. led. And that one misses. Big rebound. Matter yeah. of fact, the only scoring by this Rapids team was those eight points in the yeah. first 30-something seconds. You're absolutely right. So the defense has locked down now, but uh, unable, unable to get things going offensively. And a timeout. Coach Broussard and that Mustang team is going to sit and talk about it. Full timeout, we'll take it with them and be back in 60 seconds. You're listening and watching Holy Savior Menard Basketball on 446 Sports. It all started with a sketch on a napkin. An idea created by two walk-on bench warmers. And after 10 years of hard work and perseverance to turn their dream into a reality, it's the number one sports bar in America. Welcome to Walk On. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Back to the Eagles Nest we go. I'm Doug Gann alongside of Chuck Perkins and all of you that are joining in with us, too. You have seen a couple of dandies in this one. The Lady Eagles come back and win their game convincingly in that one to go one and three now in district play the uh the eagles trying to battle their way back into this one it was eight quick points by zakelvi and gaddison right out of the break but since then it's been a 7-0 run so eight points out of the break quickly in the last five four four minutes and a half or so it's been a 7-0 run for the eagles basketball is the great game of runs Yes, it is. Teams get hot, and it's back and forth and back and forth. But we're so glad that you found us and that you're joining us, and we appreciate you. Give us a like and a follow. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we appreciate that good, sweet shot that time. Christopher Newton, he had five in the first. Now, that's his first basket, first uh, first points by anyone not named at Gaddison here in the second half for R Rapids. Yeah. Still a two-possession game, 34-28. They definitely have some leap on them. 15 points off of five threes in the first quarter is clearly the difference in this one, but just a two-possession game. Eagles trying to, to fight and scrap back in with slow, methodical offense. There's Turner. He'll fire this one up. Misses. Long rebound is saved out. Good effort by Hopewell that time. Get it back into the nice corner. That one is up, and oh. it's no good. But oh, Hopewell's there to bring it home oh, following the miss. And, oh, baby. The only thing better would have been if I was zoomed in on it. But, by golly, what a shot. Goodness gracious. 34-30. Now long. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three-pointer. That's an answer from Gaddison. That's his just as much noise with that bank shot. That's his fourth three of the game. And the explosiveness of Hopewell, though, on that prior play was yes. something. But um, now it's out to seven points. Dempsey coming back in for this Mustang team. And goodness, what a uh, mm. couple of explosive plays. First play of the game and then the most recent play have been electric from Hopewell. There's Vilar. Vilar over to the corner, gets it back to the top. Trying to find Turner. Turner very well covered. Now he cuts to the inside. There's that quick stop and, nice. and pop on the cutter, and that's what we talked about in the first half, Chuck, that they needed to do. That's nine now for Dalen Turner. 37-32, Eagles need to get a stop here. I feel like the, the Mustang. There's it. There it yeah. is. Poking the hand in. Now Turner looks to get off and run. Turner's going to go to the basket and gets it. Nicely done. Keeping it underneath him. So the Mustang defender couldn't get to it. Second player in double digits now joining Warren there. And back to one possession, 
It's where we started things in this period, a three-point deficit for the Eagles. That shot is up, and that's a three-pointer from the corner. That is good. Great shot by Dempsey. That's his first three. That's now eight three-pointers for this Rapids team, Chuck. Eight. Good gracious. 32 That's... seconds to go here. Six-point lead, two possession back out top to Vilar. Vilar gets it around to Turner, and they're looked content to kind of play just a two-man game there, run off a little bit of clock, and Rapids with a six-point lead in no hurry to yeah. drop in there to come out, and now they do. They drop uh, their coverage, come back out and play the ball, set a count up and not wanting to let Menard get it. He's, there's a backdoor lob. Oh. That one's no good, but Hopewell comes in, gets it, gets the board again, and now he's going to go to the free throw line. 3.7 seconds left in the quarter. The explosive hops, for lack of any other better word, by Jacques Hopewell uh, have been on display in this one. Just a slight off pass there for another one of those alley-oops. I guess it turned out to be an alley-oops. Hopewell puts this one up and buries that free throw. Yeah, just, just explosive and he quickly trying to guard against any Rapids points here. Rapids quickly gets the rebound, fire up the long half quarter, doesn't go. Menard played well in the third, but Rapids extended the lead to five. It was three at the break. It's 40-35 now, back in 60 on 446 Sports. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria LA. In central Louisiana, you might see me at the ballparks or soccer fields, or we might cross paths at the grocery store. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Jason Hall. Learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance can save you time and money. So talk to Hawk at 318-791-HAWK and let me help you protect your biggest investments. Real service, real people. Farm Bureau Insurance. Back to the Eagles' nest we go, getting ready for the fourth and final period of this one. Of course, big shout-out to Jason Hawk, one of our fine sponsors. Just so much for youth sports in our area, and we appreciate him being a proud partner with 446 Sports. Definitely a wild one here. Over to the corner. Thought about it. Turner now has a shot. Won't pass on this one. That shot no good by Vilar. Might have thought about it just a little bit too much. Eagles needed to get a score to start things off. Working the way around, and, and now the Eagles pressing the issue, pushing out just a little bit. Not content, but, uh, yeah, that's just money from the corner there. That was Christopher Newton. Got his second three, and now nine three-pointers. Got to come out and defend the perimeter if you are the Eagles and not give any opportunity. There's another big turnover, and this again is Gaddison going to the basket. Misses the dunk, though. Goes the other way, and Brent Broussard is on fire. You know you needed just the basket and not a big dunk, and that's a four-point swing. And uh, goodness, you go back to that, Gaddison looking to bring it home with the dunk, and Broussard staring right through him. With this, with this one, but you go back the other way and get the basket from Turner. Full timeout. We'll be back in 60 on 446 Sports. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Security Sporting Good wants to tell you all camo is 50% off and it's fishing season. In the red corner, it's powerhouse combo zoom and lose. And in the blue corner, season veteran Abu Garcia. These three name brands will take care of all your fishing needs. Plus, Old Town kayaks are coming soon. Need a handgun in stock. Springfield, Sig, Glock, and Smith and Wesson at Security Sporting Goods 2220 Memorial Drive, Alexandria.
back to action here. You're checking out the Menard cheerleaders. They've done a great job of, of doing that spin all the way, the, the, the flips. Yeah, the t that's what they're doing. Yeah, tumbling. Getting down the court. Look, they, you'll have them. They'll make it all the way down the floor, and I'd, I'd, break, I'd, I'd break something on the very first yeah. time I attempted. They're I tumbling, attempted you're that. fumbling, so you know, yeah. it's okay. So Bruce Hart, again, was yes. just uh, not happy in that timeout at all. Had an opportunity to go and lay that one in. Went for the dunk and missed it. Now it stays a two-possession game. Menard looking to defend out. Switched over to a man to try to limit the three-point shooting. Rapids has nine. Inside, Menard's been able to hang in there and control things. That's going to be a big turnover there. Just Cartrakis Mitchell was was just like a, a gnat in your ear, would Ooh. not let go. Yes, indeed he was. Just pesky, pesky defense, so solid. There's a clear out, not called. Kind of like a horse fly. That one is up, and it's no good. Good job underneath. That is the senior Cantrell. And now quickly back the other way, going to be a block. Turner will be going to the free throw line for an opportunity to get a couple here. Menard has uh, has just been able to survive the barrage of three pointers and keep this thing close. Nine on the day, 27 points beyond the arc for this Rapids team. And uh, wow. and and you would think that how was Menard even close with an opportunity in this one? But it's been it's been just hard fought basketball the entire way. 27. That means there's only 16 within or on from the free throw. 16, that's right, 16 points now for Turner as uh, as he's been solid. He's got one three, and now that's his first free throw. Full court man work going on. And gets them both in there. 17 now on the day for Turner, and it's a four-point lead still, two possession. See him doing some work to Thiers on the sideline over there. Looks like he had a cramp. They're trying to stretch it out. Gaddison going to the basket, misses that one, and there's another big board. Looking all the way down the court, there's Turner. Going to get up and make that does. one. Two-point game, back to one possession. Turner has 19. And a, and a, another Turner turnover by the Eagles. They're looking to do some work back to the top. Misdirection. Oh by Vilar as the hands of Rapids were in there, had a chance to tie this thing up. Rapids back and running. Missed that shot, another big rebound, and it's gonna be cleared out off, or defensive foul under there. Look, I'm telling you, Jacob Vilar, the sophomore, is banging around these last few possessions. Six fouls now. The Eagles will go to the line to shoot one and one the next time around. Yeah, absolutely exciting Actually, play is picked up. I mean, it's not like it's been dull at any point in time during this game. No, this not, is, that intensity not at is all. Really the Menard student section on their feet, ready to get their team back in this one. Just a two-point lead, but there's the turnover again. They had the opportunity. You've got to defend the perimeter if you're the Eagles. That's where Menard, or Rapids has had so much success. They've got nine threes on the day. Defense being the crowd, and there's a little offensive clearing out again. Five, oh, they're going to call the traveling violation right in front of the Menard or the Rapids bench, and they are not excited about that. Absolutely not. And Coach Broussard is pushing his team back to so get off, the, get off the press right now. Look, there back. is so much emotion from every aspect. It's different levels of it in different sections of this gym, yes. but all of it is intense. Turner thinks about the three, but nowhere to go with that one. Dempsey was right on him. Cross-court pass, Turner had an opportunity, but Dempsey again closes the door. Oh, Going to the basket and oh, had an opportunity, goodness. but mishandled that. Really what didn't have a good hand on it was uh, Hopewell. And here comes this Rapid team. Had an opportunity to get things, uh, get things going and tie this up. Spun around. Oh, they called traveling. Yes, and uh, wow, you had a... Looked like the foul is what did it. Looked like he kind of pulled him just a little bit. Uh, 
and the travel was called and Broussard's irate. The fans are livid on the near side and giving the official walking up the court an earful. That went over into the corner. Turner's got it thinking about the three. Now back over. That one goes off the back, uh, I guess, the back side of the goal on an errant shot. Not sure why the whistle wasn't calling on that one. Halfway home here in an exciting, exciting ball game. 43-41 Rapids has led throughout this one. Out with pressure is Warren. Gaddison is the man that has put the points up for this Mustang team, and Newton backs it out. You got to think if you're Rapides, you get the ball, and that's what Turner was thinking. Turner with a big save to the near side. Going to the basket now. Up and misses that one. Rebound going back to the free throw line. Great work by Jacob Vilar finishing, uh, trying to, to finish off that offensive set, unable to get it go to go. But look, the the, the poke save by, uh, or steal by Turner, and then the save over his head was just phenomenal. You see the student section there standing up, cheering them on, trying to get them back into this game Opportunity a bit to get this thing go. tied up, and then Vilar goes to the line and nails that one, just a one-point game. Can the Eagles come all the way back in this one? Got their claws up over Shot here is up and, uh, and misses that one, still unable to get it tied back up. Rapids coming down to the floor. 43-42. Mustangs have been red hot from beyond the arc, and this Eagle defense Defending the defending beyond the three-point line so well. And that will be off of Rapids going to Menard. Intensity to say the least. Absolutely. Out of both of these fan bases. Three minutes, three minutes to go in a thriller. Back to the top. Turner's got it now, swinging it around. Student section masking the yes. Vilar out there. Turner's got it again. Back to the top, kicks it to the side. Thinks about going inside. That shot is up by Cantrell. He misses that, but big time work underneath the board and the bucket. That's Jacques Hopewell. Sets that one in to put the Eagles up by one now. 44-43. Your Eagles have fought all the way back in this one. Gaddison bringing the ball down. If you're Rapids, you got to think that Gaddison's your guy. Going down the way, he has been electric throughout. But Turner not giving him a moment's peace on defense. Newton now being defended out by Hopewell. Hopewell's had some electric plays in this game himself. Looking to the near side, they're going to call the foul underneath on Hopewell. The official to the near side was getting ready to call the travel again. And, and the lady there said, we're going to have our first, uh, oh, it was very close to, to having one of the fans run out of this one. And uh, they called the timeout, and cooler heads have prevailed in this one. What a, what a battle. 30-second timeout. Chuck will keep it here. Yes, this indeed. is basketball at its, uh, at its finest. You can definitely tell the folks that are loving the game, but um, <laughs> some, some temperament has definitely got to come into play at some point. Passionate to yes, say the least. Passionate. That would be an easy word to use there. Very descriptive and very, very accurate. Official coming to the near side, and they're still considering uh, an opportunity for one of the fans to not finish this game, perhaps. But uh, look, I'm going to tell you this, and I've followed local area basketball here for about 30 years. There's not many fan bases more passionate and more into the game than those folks from Rapids. They get after it. They're such a storied tradition. Yes. Such great basketball through the years. Yes, and indeed. they will cheer from the opening tip to the final buzzer, and they get after it as much as anybody. There's Gaddison. The He's going to get the hoop and the harm. Gaddison now going for the and one. He's got 13 in the second half to go with the 10 that he had, 23 leading all scores. And gives Rapides the lead once again. Oh, 
Oh, oh. About lost my mind there. Did yeah. lose my pen. Yeah, well, that's close. Gaddison good on the free throw, gets the end one. He's got 14 now in the second half. Again, eight of them within the first 30 seconds of the third period. Back around the top, Turner's got it. Such impressive play. Two point deficit for your Eagles. Warren gets it over in the corner. He gets it back, swings it to Vilar. Vilar going to the basket, misses that one. And you got five green jerseys underneath there, banging around, getting the rebound. Great job of blocking out by these Mustangs of Rapids. And then close to throwing the ball away, but are able to maintain it. Minute and a half to go. Just 90 seconds remain in this one. Gaddison going back to the basket. They're going to call an offensive foul. They will call an offensive foul on Gaddison. That's his third. For those of you scoring at home, no free throws are shot on an offensive foul when an offensive foul is charged. Timeout is going to be called. We'll see if it's a full timeout, and it is. We'll take it with them and be back right after this on 446 Sports. The fine folks at BK Distributors want to thank all the educators for weathering the storms, so to speak, through 2020 and beyond. Thank you for your dedication to our children. The end of the school year awards are now available. Any type of award, trophies, banners, plaques, they do it all at BK Distributors. So with school almost out, that means summer leagues are in full swing. New items, same great prices, and fast turnaround. BK Distributors, Highway 20 and East Pineville behind Arby's. to the Eagles' nest. Rapids 46, Menard 44. And I'm telling you, we would not have expected anything different than just a dog fight throughout. And that's exactly what there's been. 77 ticks left on the clock here in regulation. In regulation, I dare I, I say. Jinx that one. Doug Gann alongside Chuck Perkins and have enjoyed bringing you this one. And we've still yes. got an exciting finish coming up. Menard got to find a way to pull this one out. If you're Rapids, you just have to keep doing what you're doing. And that's pressure. And there it is from Gaddison. Gaddison, such a star for this Rapids team. Coming in, and there's going to be a foul. That's going to go to the free throw line. Great sportsmanship yes. by this. Uh, these two teams out on the floor. You've not heard a word from I, from any of them. No. They're out there <laughs> inside a tremendous, tremendous battle. Leaving it in the bleachers for sure. 46-44, Turner to the line looking to tie this thing up. First free throw is up, and he gets the front end there. Turner quietly having himself quite a day. That's 20 Nicely. from the floor wow. for Turner. Misses on his 21st. Gaddison comes down with a rebound. Down by a point is Menard. Got to get a steal, get the ball back. A lot of clearing out there, too. Officials holding on. Nearing the five-second call, off the baseline is going to be the foul before the basket, and that's going to send Gaddison to the line for the one-and-one. And, one. and you almost believe both of these teams were just battling, trying to get to the free throw line. They'll call that one on Jacob Vilar. No, that's on five. Oh, it's Turner, that's his Correction, point, that's yeah. Dalen Turner. I'm sorry. That's his fourth. Gaddison will step up to the free throw line for the front end of the one and one and, and very uncharacteristic. It's like Rapides thinks it's a two shot foul. Yeah, yeah, they, they completely cleared out from underneath. And nobody down on the free throw line. Well, why do you need it when Gaddison's on the line shooting though? <laughs> and he gets his little air fouls there. That's Walks right. Up. Nobody underneath to, to congratulate him. I so don't know in a one point game that I've seen. Yeah, left it open like that. But that. look, Coach Broussard trusts this just solid, solid defense from the Mustang so much. Says, look, if he doesn't, 
He said, my man's going to step up and hit it, but if not, we're going to D up on the other end. Yep. And here comes the Eagles looking to get something going. From way downtown, that one is missed. Kicking it out, Turner looking for three. Goes inside, going to pull up and shoot this one and nail it. 25 seconds to go. Got to play defense, 48-47. Need to foul if you're the Eagles. There's a turnover. Going to the basket, the steal. Oh, and he misses, he slips down. Slipped down to Dalen Turner. Had an opportunity and a clear layup going to the basket. Slipped down on yes. his way to the basket. And Turner is beside himself there. That last step of the approach to go up for the layup and he slid, his foot slips out from underneath. Full timeout back after this on 446 Sports. The following things are just plain wrong. Pouring coffee into a light socket. Dressing a 300-pound man in a tiny pink Speedo. And hiring an unqualified employee for your business. Express Employment Professionals in Alexandria is here to assist you in hiring that right employee or helping you find your perfect career. Apply online at expresspros.com slash Alexandria LA. We are back, and what a game this has been. Eagles had a steal at midcourt. Dalen Turner had the ball going to the basket and slipped right under it or got under it too much, too much excitement, and, and, and missed that one right at the right at the goal. An easy layup, one of those that he, he certainly will wish he had back. The Eagles are going to look for the steal here. If not, get a quick foul. Yes, going to have to. 10.8 seconds left in the half. I mean, in, in the game here. Going to go for the steal first, and if you don't get it quickly, you got a foul. Anybody but Gaddison, there it is inside, tying it up. Oh, they call the foul. They call the foul, the hold on there, and that's going to send Gaddison to the line, who quickly got up there or calmly got up there and drained a pair that got it to where it is. And this Rapids, true to form, they are spirited and uh, behind their Mustangs 100%. 48-47, 9.4 to go in this one. Nobody in the blocks for Rapids. Broussard pushing them back, saying stay back, stay back. Calmly going up and sinking this one. And if there is an MVP, it is the Kelvian Gaddison of this game. He has done everything. The eight points in the first 30 seconds that he had, and now three free throws in a row down the stretch looking for his fourth. Menard will still be, no matter what, here, just a possession, one possession game. Gaddison shoots this one, misses it. A two to tie, a three to win. Into the corner is Turner, almost loses the handle. Now he goes back up to the basket. He's going to be fouled, and Dalen Turner will go to the line with 2.3 to go and an opportunity to tie this thing up. Doug, we couldn't have scripted this one any more exciting. I'm telling you what, this is just phenomenal basketball at its best. This is one of those thrillers, and now the senior Dalen Turner has the opportunity to atone for the, the prior mishap down under the goal. Turner puts the first up, and it's 49-48. The senior with an opportunity now. And that's Carbo checking in. Ben Carbo had big, big minutes towards the tail end of the second. Free th or timeout is taken here by Broussard. Chuck, we're going to leave it right here. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it right here. It's a full timeout, but... Uh, the, the energy that has been in this one tonight uh, in both games on there is something that you really couldn't have, have, have asked for and found a better way at it. But uh, these Eagles have fought back. They've had the lead. They've battled. 
And uh, here we go, an opportunity for the senior, Dalen Turner, to come up and tie this thing up. Yeah, and ever since they've gotten back close and actually took that little bit of lead, they've been able to maintain that within one or two, maybe three points of, 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 of holding on to this or even taking over. And had and had the lead a couple of times, but look, the, the Rapids Mustangs have fought and battled and battled and fought and continued to, to play Mustang basketball and get after you. And look, any time you talk about the Rapids Mustang, you know you're going to get a battle from the opening tip to the final buzzer. And uh, the game we saw last year was exactly the same way. And there's no doubt these Mustangs are well coached with uh, Coach Bruce all over there. And you see Here's, what they're just Here goes what they're Turner. Free throw is up, and it's good. We're tied at 49 with 2.3. Gaddison's going to have a long one. He throws it up at the buzzer, and we've got free basketball here from the nest. 49 to 49, and oh, oh my goodness, what a battle this has been. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry I jinxed it, Doug. I, I said it early. Look, I don't mind an extra, an extra four, four minutes. minutes or so of this one. Uh, we don't have nine more games after this one like we did that from Lake Charles. So uh, you don't true. mind this one at all. And, and our, our stop time on the video is still a ways away, so I think we're all right there. Yes. You I put it at 930, 9.30 if you did. Yes. All right, so we're good. So uh, Dale and <laughs> yeah. Turner, they had to steal with about nine seconds to go, missed the layup, go down the other way, and, and Gaddison makes one of two. That gave Menard the opportunity to, to go down there and, and Turner drives to the lane with 2.3. He's fouled. Calmly, the senior steps up and, and, and the, the guard play between Dalen Turner and Zakelvion Gaddison has been phenomenal in this one. Absolutely. Um, just two seniors doing battle, going at each other, saying, here, you got that? Well, I'm going to do this. You do that, and I'm going to do this. Nine three-pointers for Rapids in this game. It's just been it's been one of those games, and so glad to be here. I'm Doug Gann, along with Chuck Perkins, bringing you uh, quarter number five in this one. Back to jump things off. Good to see Thiers back in the game. Hopewell goes up and controls for the Eagles. And the man of the hour now, Turner, controlling things. He gets it over into the corner to Vilar. Vilar brings it back to the top, and that zone has dropped down for Rapids. They're in no big hurry. They would rather guard against the perimeter. Back to the top. That is Warren. Warren gets it inside. Great hands by Rapides, but unable to get there. That three is up, and it's no good in the big time rebound by Thiers. And you know, you know that Rapides is happy to have him back in the game. Absolutely, definitely. 49, 49, there's a little inside jumper that's up and rolls around the basket. It's good by Newton. Not as smooth as he was in the early of the game, but it's still just as effective, the points fall. 51 to 49, quick two-point possession by this Rapids team, and they're back out defending again, almost an errant throw by Turner. Again, both teams are shooting free throws. They'll shoot two from the rest of the way out. Over into the corner once again, back up top. This three is launched and no good. Long rebound controlled out by Rapids. And they look to get out and run again. Newton will slow things down, gets the ball back over to Gaddison. Gaddison back to Newton. And Rapids will step back out. They've got the lead, they've got the ball. Both teams again in the bonus. Top of the key. That one's launched off to the side, chasing down his own rebound. And you mark that play down from Christopher Newton. Yes. That was solid. And Gaddison just willing himself out there, hopping back down the floor on one foot. Favoring must be cramping up over there. But look, the work and the play that was there was Christopher Newton. He shoots the three and outruns everybody to the corner, throws the ball back in, and that allows Gaddison to go and, and just uh, stretch. You see him off during the timeout. He's stretching out that cramp. Yes. Cramps have gotten a couple of the, the Mustangs players in this one. We saw Thiers on the wall stretching. Now we see Gaddison out there. But I can guarantee you uh, Gaddison will not come off of the court in this. Yeah, and I'm not so sure Broussard wants him off the court. He has definitely been the leader out there for this Mustang team. 
a minute 46 into this overtime. Almost halfway there, and the only four points of the game have been scored by the Mustangs team. And it's been it's been just great defense, a couple of missed shots. Eagles had a couple open threes, but it's it's the difference of, of both teams battling this entire way. And uh oh goodness, it's been a it's been a great one. Yes indeed. I mean the giddy up go offense of the Mustangs and just the aggressive talents out, we're gonna come at you of the Eagles. Wow, what a matchup we've had tonight. Look, I'm a big fan of uh, Zakelvin Gaddis and the way he's played. Christopher Newton chasing down that one. This entire Mustang team just comes at you and comes at you. Nearly a travel there. Kicking it back into the corner. Thought about the three. Now back up top. Turner yet to launch one here. Over again. Spun around. Going to the basket is Hopewell. He's going to get called for the offensive foul. Stepping in and taking that was Dempsey. And uh, wow, the defense of Rapids has held Menard scoreless. And that's going to foul out Jacques Hopewell. Hopewell is done. That will bring Carbo back into the game. Ben Carbo back into the game now. Solid down the stretch in the first half towards the tail end of it. Newton back with the ball. You've got to come up and press. You go out there, I think, and, and get a turnover. You try to foul anybody but Gaddison. Gaddison's been solid. But Fears gets his first basket. And what a time. Still a two-possession game for the Eagles. But they've got to get they've got some work to do here with a minute and a half. Yeah, there's still plenty of time, but you cannot wait long. You've got to get this going. Vilar is going to pull up, go to the basket, misses that, and uh, the rim has not been kind. You've got to go up and you've got to foul the rest of the way if you're Menard, though, and turn this, slow this game down as much as you can. Back to the corner. And uh, you still, you've got to come out and put, you don't want to put Gaddison on the line by any means. That ball thrown away inside Gaddison with a beautiful pass inside it to Newton. Was. But uh, Newton wasn't ready for it. 55-49, he'd like to see Turner perhaps launch one of his threes. And just drain that bottom Over that the top, that's Warren, the sophomore. Back to the near side, there goes Turner. There it is, there on demand, Turner gets that one and it's a one possession game, 55-52. Just the second three of the game. And. Another full timeout, I yeah. think that's all they have left. Yeah, that's what you what you see down here towards the end of it. We're going to let you see the sights and sounds of it. And, uh, you know, you get up by six, and the, the Mustang faithful here with the cheers of, we can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> where did they do? Look, I'm telling you, high school basketball is one of the, the greatest sports. You don't hear this type of enthusiasm at a baseball game because it's slow and it's moving along. You don't hear it at football because the, the stands are opposite each other. But look, in basketball, yeah. one side, it's an intimate uh, gym. And uh, oh yeah, there's a little give and take and back and forth and you just, you love it. It's like being in the neighborhood where your houses are real close to one another, you know, and say, hey, why are you mowing at 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. A little bit of live, uh, live coverage from the Rapids fans. And <laughs> yes. And, and it's been good spirited. There, there's not been anything ugly on either side, and you just love it. It's just passionate basketball from the players, from the fans, from everybody in this. I love for everybody to have that, you know, Ralph and Wiley Coyote approach to this. You know, you can battle all you want to, but when it's over with, shake hands and go home. They, they punch out and go home. That's right. Yeah, just don't punch each other out. 46 seconds to go. Eagles trail by one. Jumping into the passing lane. Looking for the turnover. Broussard calling timeout and gets it. And uh, the Eagle coaching staff not sure that there was possession on that and, and, and giving that. Think there's just the full timeout left. Chuck, let's take it with them. Take Great. our last break of the night. We'll be back for this thrilling conclusion on 446 Sports. It all started with a sketch on a napkin. An idea created by two walk-on bench warmers. And after 10 years of hard work and perseverance to turn their dream into a reality, it's the number one sports bar in America. 
Welcome to Lock On. Walk Ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Back to the Eagles Nest. I am Doug Gann alongside Chuck Perkins. And a big hello to all of those that have went back and watched this game afterwards. I feel like um, uh, one of those guys in Back to the Future, you know. <laughs> you tell them, look, if you just tune, you're going back and watching this one. You've seen a great one, those that are watching live. And anybody that's watching, if you'd go up and hit that like and follow, we'd appreciate it. That way, you'll be kept up to date anytime we go live with one of these exciting ball games. And it's thrilling to see how many people have come out here to support their team. Foul is going to be called, and that's going to send Gaddison to the line once again. A great fan base, and that's what we like to see, being here, supporting your fans. When they turn up and look at the bleachers, they want to see you here. That's five fouls now there on Aiden Warren. So the sophomore has fouled out. That has Hopewell, the junior, fouled out. Warren, the sophomore, has fouled out. And Gaddison has been so solid throughout. And we talked about that at the beginning of this half, how, how the fouls were amassing so quickly within the first couple of minutes. And, you know, they, they didn't have as many in the first half, but it tallied up quick in the second half. You knew there would be foul issues towards the tail end of this. Gaddison goes up, and he's been, he's been the man from the field and the line tonight. Four-point lead, two-possession game. Eagles are going to have to get off and get something quickly. Gaddison continues to impress. Big fan of that young man. Over in the corner, turn, er, Kirk passes on that. Swung around. That three is launched. It's money. Got it. That was Cantrell, the senior, getting that three ball. Two-point lead for the Mustangs. Got to go up and you're going to have to, into the corner he goes. Still, that just uses up the time. They got a foul now. And that's going to send Gaddison, the man you did not want to send to the free throw line. If that's Turner, that's his fifth as well. And it is. So the third Eagle to foul out, that's Dalen Turner, is gone. Turner. Warren and Hopewell all have fouled out in overtime. Gaddison continues to make the most of it and continues to drain free throws. Jacob Vilar coming over to talk about what a big clutch three-pointer by the senior Aaron, senior Aaron Cantrell. Gaddison, Gaddison, Gaddison all throughout the night. Yes. Galley up, Gaddy, Giddy up, Gaddison. How about that? 58 55. Mustangs, after conversing with Coach Broussard, drop back in their zone coverage. Misses off the front. Eagles have a chance. They've got to have a three ball. There's Kirk that's got it. Oh, oh. He's going to, and the foul not called. And that's going to be the ball game. Just a contested three-pointer. What a thrilling, thrilling ball game. And uh, fans getting out now onto the court and uh, getting into it with one of the officials. And that's a, that's a big time no-no. Yeah. But uh, what a thriller this was here from the Eagles' nest. Eagles come in on the wrong end of it. They lose this one 58-55, and it was just the three-point shooting and the defensive pressure of this Rapids Mustangs team that did it. Eagles fought valiantly, but they lose their first district game. Chuck, and uh, what a battle this was. It has been an amazing game, and if you weren't here, you missed out on so much of a dynamic of actually being in this environment. Now, you know, watching it, listening to what you can over the mic coming back is, is wonderful and great, and we appreciate all of that, but these teams, both of them, came out in support of their teams, and just, I mean, it showed. You, you could tell they were riled up uh, by, by that support. 
without a doubt, and a great job getting every getting the the fans cleared out and, and getting this thing diffused and. You know, and, and that's the administration really stepped in and did a great job of, of just saying, okay, the game's over now. Everybody go home. You ain't got to go home. You just got to they, they gotta disperse. Here. That's right. That's right. So uh, exciting basketball tonight. Eagles come up on the tail end of it. Uh, goodness. We'll be back here Friday night. Eagles will host the Mustangs of Avoles in what's sure to be another thriller. Chuck, uh, appreciate all of the work that you had. That's going to wrap things up here from the Eagles Nest. For Chuck Perkins, I am Doug Gang. God bless you all, and good night. You've been watching 446 Sports. My pleasure.